everybody know who Kobe Bryant is. Yeah. Everybody, right? Everyone knows that Kobe died tragically along with his daughter and then along with other people in the helicopter, and the right? Father and daughters. Okay. That hurt a lot of people and it's it's still it's it's only been a year. It's been a year since it happened, right? So, um that January. lyric that lyric straight up I couldn't take it but offensively. I've heard all kind of lyrics. I've heard all kind of songs. I've heard diss records. I've heard all kind of stuff. That hit different. The reason why it hit different for me was because um, it was not even necessary. It didn't have to even, you didn't even have to use Kobe's name in the bar. First of all, the bar was trash. It was a <laughs> trash bar. It Made didn't, nothing, none of that was it was just let me get through this bar. It wasn't like, it wasn't one of those like oh like tight moments. You could have used anybody's name in there that might have. You could have used Arnold Schwarzenegger, fam. He was in a chopper. <laughs> I go out in my chopper like Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro. You could have switched it up. It could have been anybody. Yeah. It could have been someone else, other than Kobe. That's what lets me know the bar was trash, right? Okay. That was insensitive. It's. It was crazy. I don't understand why Meek would even say that. Like, you got to know. I don't care if you're not even a basketball fan. To our culture, Kobe is one of the greatest. There's Jordan. There's LeBron. There's Kobe. There's all these people in that mix. And as far as as far as far his image and what he brought to the game, along with our community, what he brought was a positive image. Bro, you just you just shit it all over that man, man. And his family. Spit all you pretty much spitting on that man grave with that boy. Me, bro. That was that was stupid. That was dumb. His team didn't have no his team was stupid was stupid for not even listening to it deep enough to say, oh man, that was a bad idea to put that boy. Switch that up. Put somebody else there. Come up with another line. It happens all the time. He ain't got nobody but yes, man, it seemed like in his camp right now because they even agreed on that if that was if that was something they had to sign off on. I know, you know, Meek is at a certain level, so he might not have to get people to sign off on certain stuff, you know, like it was when he was a, you know, uh, uh, coming up, upcoming artist. But come on, Meek, that's that's retarded. And then your response after that, once people start coming at you for for saying that. It's like, man, basically, man, I ain't, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm on some other stuff right now. I feel, I'm feeling myself. So I'm on another tip. I don't care what nobody got to say. I don't care. I don't care what nobody feel about what I wrote. People saying, some people, some other hip hop artists are saying we need to give, we need to give me, uh, uh, you know, ease up, give him a pass for that bar. That bar is stupid out of line, straight up. And the, the sad part is how quick people are to forget. It's sad because it can easily go from we mourning them, one, can't say nothing negative, nothing bad about them. A year pass. Once a year pass, I guess that's the threshold. Now after a year, I can say what I want to say and do how and, and feel how I want to feel. That's no di- it's In my opinion, it's no different than Gail King. I think her last name is King. When when she went on when she went on and had the interview with Lisa Leslie right. and she asked him about Kobe and the sexual assault, this is the same situation in my opinion. It's disrespectful as hell, bro. Like I don't care. I don't care what nobody got to say. I, I mean, Kobe is not no savior for me, but I do realize his impact in the community. I realize his his importance to the history books. And at the end of the day, me, yeah. This ain't going to fly. Nah. Nah. And you can't be mad at how people feel. You got people out here that'll die for Kobe Bryant. And so, so you got to live your, and also you need to realize me. And, you know, I mean, I know I'm going a little bit long, but I feel a little, I feel some kind of way about it. You got to realize that you're going to have to sometimes live the lyrics that you're speaking about. And you saying going out on your chopper on this man that died and you speaking on the death, I mean, on the, on the dead. I'm going to tell you right now, man, you better watch what you're saying. Because sometimes you're going to have to live them the exact same lyrics that you just, you, you're preaching and you're saying. And that situation might come your way. I see it. 
And that's that's just the energy you put out. And that's the sad part. When you put out that kind of energy, those things can happen to you that you don't necessarily want or you don't want it to happen to someone that you love. And and stop and stop what you're calling it, bro. Stop uh stop playing both sides. Stop playing the side of where you 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 gangster one day and then the next day you an activist. You need to you need to pick a side. Pick yeah. a side, man. Because it looks it looks immature. It looks like you don't know what you want to do with your life. And at the same time, it just look like you reckless. You look like a young boy. I know y'all say young boy, whatever in Philly, but that's what it's like. You ain't acting like an OG. OG don't talk like that. So Gilly the Kid, Wallow, uh, you know, the, the OGs in Philly, go holler at that, man. Because that, that, nah. Well, nah, that, that, that ain't, that ain't. To his first tweet, when he said, if you care about someone grieving, change the subject. Take your own advice. Uh, Hello. But was- also to that, I'll say that it's an ignorant statement, right? Because if you care about the person grieving, you don't change the subject. When something like what he did happens, you support that person and you show them support, which is what everybody is doing. Right. So what he's saying is to go against the grain. It's not even whatever. But I'm also speaking about this from a firsthand experience, yeah. right? Because I've had a very recent loss myself right. and less than two months ago. So, But when something foul takes place, like directly related to a loved one lost, yeah. anger and Bro. frustration and sadness immediately sets in. And it's a real visceral like reaction to it. Like it's, it's beyond anything intelligent you just instantly start feeling something and the support from everybody around you in the community that you get is what pulls you out of that reaction yeah so and it allows you to see that you're not the only one who feels this way so that you can acknowledge those feelings and then move past it so that you can continue to grieve the death that you had right and It was obviously super unexpected. So I can I can imagine, you know, what she was going through, but she also lost a child. So well, you're not just referencing Colby's death. You're you're literally reminding her of the person she was spending the rest of her life with and, and daughter. her daughter. Yeah. And like and, and, on, and 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 shout out to Vanessa Bryant for her handling it the way she did and she didn't go and spaz and snap and then lose it. You know, on social media, she still handled it with a certain level of dignity and class. And and you saw exactly why Meek Mills put down what he put down on, on, on paper or, or, or text, whatever, when he wrote those lyrics. Because his response, once the heat came on him, was that he, he, he shriveled up and he panicked. And he started tripping and started lashing out on other people. Yeah, but he also for got something. negative about it. Well, yes, yeah, so I'm saying he started lashing out. He started and that's lashing what out makes on me other people. Say that he's selfish. Like only selfish people would take somebody's tragedy and use it in a way to benefit yourself. And you know, I don't know. Like, and he has no, he is completely unrelated to to I, Kobe's issue, I other than being maybe a fan or knowing about him. Like that's just it's it's I a don't toxic know. level of selfishness. Yeah, I, I don't know what his intent was he might have didn't have an intent he might have thought that what he was saying was fire it was dope it was it was hard like yo man what i just wrote right there about that kobe Flames. line is, is, is dope <laughs> like you know i haven't even really heard a comedian make a joke and if i hadn't heard a comedian make a joke on kobe's death you know yeah, it's because too soon. yeah it's, you know it's too soon fam. there's really nothing about that situation that... It's, it's nothing about making making light of like no. to try to make fun of or to use it in any kind of way for any kind of personal gain because the situation was tragic man Unless it wasn't it was a... something about like the loss you felt over it right yeah you, know what, I'm you know what i'm saying like yeah exactly you can use it that way but the way in which it was used in that and that line was that he was going out on his chopper basically saying, you know, just a play on on like the word, you know, double entendre, I guess you could call it. Glorifying it you, in a way, but... Yeah, bro. he's saying going out on his chopper as if Kobe died in some kind of glorious way. Kobe didn't die in a glorious way. He died in a tragic way along with everyone else in that helicopter. So you can't compare that you going out on your chopper is like, I'm a gangster, I'm going out in this gangster way. That wasn't gangster what happened to Kobe. Kobe didn't die against death. 
Kobe died a very tragic death, man. So, Clinching it's his daughter. Every, every everybody involved with that record being released. Shame it's, on you. It's trash. Yeah, absolutely shame on you. Like the fact this that doesn't they, mean and yeah, go ahead, go ahead, the fact that they thought about putting it out and if like you said if it wasn't listened to and it was just green lighted and it, it was put out or any of that Goodness, like the fact that he thought about using it and then he went ahead and used it it really shows you the type of character that he has like it speaks volumes about his character yeah, like you I'm, said I'm, he needs to pick a side and stop stop doing stop. don't do the activist stuff and don't call for unity if you're gonna go you ahead gonna sit and, here and make a lot you're gonna you're gonna make a ball like that like cut it out man because you look like a clown when you do that type of stuff lots you look lots of people were saying you look like a clown and all of that. when you do that type of stuff yo like at this current moment apologizing for it uh, your it apology do for it needs to be public because what you put out was in the public so you can't say I'm going to go talk to her in private and let her know how I feel and not address it in the public because you got fans, you got people that truly feel a certain kind of way about Kobe Bryant, man. So like don't lash out at the public because they didn't like it and they felt like your lyrics were controversial and disrespectful. Don't be weak. Apologize. Meek. Look at you, Dr. No, nah, straight up. Don't be weak, man. Handle it yeah. like a man. Take accountability for what you said and deal with it and address yeah, you it. You can't you can't treat Don't the public run away and from talk it. to the public like that and be like, oh, this is a narrative that's being pushed. No, sir, people have their opinions. Huh. And if the majority of people feel this way, then you should respect that and apologize to everybody who felt that way. Oh, that's all a, you need to do. You a business man. I'm sorry y'all felt that way. I meant no disrespect. Whatever you told Vanessa could have been in public she deserves that but you also should address the media and the public who felt that way as well man i just want to see because it shows your character bro but I, he's he's shitting on people so i want to see i want to see the community win overall i want to see everybody to be able to get in a position of power and to make an impact and do things uh, and, and, and 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 improve things and conditions for the community for our community this is, is that's what i would love to see happen so it, it it gets to a point where you get people after a while you keep seeing the silly stuff all this stuff is silly all this stuff is ridiculous all this stuff is minuscule in the grand scheme of things so when these things are happening and you're hearing it from other black men or other people saying that was a bad move that was a, that was that wasn't a good look and you're not willing to listen to grow but you're willing to stay and fester in the same mentality that you're in you got to go, fam, because you're, you, you are a liability for everyone else in the community.